Hello everyone, if you watched my previous Electronic Warfare page tutorial you may be feeling apprehensive every time you take off. While it's true there's more than likely a long white cock of death with your name on it, it's not all bad news, you do have your own dildos of doom. This time we're covering the Harm and Self Protect mode. When you use the Harm and Self Protect mode you have two friends, Speed and Altitude. Like making love with an ugly person, the higher you are and the faster you go the better the outcome. To get started select HUD on the Electronic Warfare page. Now the most pressing 6 radar threats will be displayed in your HUD. Now we need to set up the harm, go to the TAC page, then go to stores. Switch on the master arm and enable her to ground mode. Select the harm from the top and you will find SP mode is selected as default. You'll instantly notice one of those contacts becomes boxed in the HUD. This is the contact the harm seeker is currently locked onto. The closest contact and the one directly ahead is the fan song. To cycle through the contacts to the one I want, I press the harm sequence slash raid button. Pay attention to the way the contacts are laid out. If you imagine your aircraft in the center, they're positionally relative. SP mode gives no indication of range, so you're best off using other cues like the HSI to provide a firing solution. Here we can see the fan song is more than likely on the island and we're around 20 clicks away. So let's launch. Often when taking to the skies in DCS, one can feel like a reluctant bottom lubed up and cast into a Vatican sauna. But at least the hard makes this encounter a two-cock conundrum. If you can poke them in the eyes with yours before they can poke you anywhere else with theirs, you've solved the problem. All that's left to say is, thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to dislike or tell me to go fuck myself below.